<laughs> hey guys, uh, Coach Drew here uh, with Lindsay Cower. She is our newest coach on staff, and we're going to get to know her a little bit today so you guys can meet her. And um, it's a little bit of a delay, so it's okay. No. The camera's got a little delay, so it's totally fine. Um, maybe the storage of my battery is getting a little run down. So, uh, anyway, so well, Lindsay. I think delayed, anyway. So that's <laughs> even better. All right. Uh, Lindsay, where are you from originally? And what brought you to Savannah? I am from a little small town called Twin City, Georgia. It's one of those towns you blink, you miss it. It's about an hour and a half from here. So Twin City is one town. One town. But the history behind it is it used to be Summit and Graymont. Mm. They were so small that they combined them. So it became Twin City. And yeah, the Twin City mayor just called and said, <laughs> congratulations, you got that right. Okay, awesome. What brought you to Savannah? So, um, I never would have thought I was going to live in Savannah, but Savannah used to be, like, if we were going to make a trip to the store, grocery store, the mall, or anything, it was like a full day trip for us growing up in Twin City. So, that was like a big deal to come to Savannah. So, this is a big town for me, but mm. I did, <laughs> it was a stepping stone. Right. But no, I, I moved off originally after I went to Georgia Southern to college. I graduated and moved off and got a job in North Georgia, in Flowery Branch, near Lawrenceville, uh, about 45 minutes outside of Atlanta. Was there for about eight years, did some work there, and then a job brought me to Savannah. What was your major at Southern? Um, well, general studies was my degree. I always tell people I want to be well-rounded in all areas. That's not what general studies does. General <laughs> studies gets you well ready for nothing. That's like the most useless degree Ever. I told you, but I'm a wealth of knowledge for right. every area. Okay, we'll put that to the test later. Remember you said that. Remember she said she's a wealth of knowledge later. We asked her the movie questions, so Google. we'll get going here. <laughs> Google. Right. Okay, um, so how long have you been coaching, like, functional movement, kind of CrossFit style stuff? Um, I've been coaching CrossFit, well, probably over the past um, three years. I've been doing... Just a little bit of just dabbling in, just observing, watching some, oh gosh, <laughs> moving back. <laughs> she like, she I know, like get away that. from the camera. Um, just for, for about three years, just kind of learning. Um, I coached up under Gary some, mm -hmm. and then um, when I was in North Georgia, I did CrossFit there and also got to help out a little bit there with the coaches there, and so here I am now. So what is your, like, passion or your strength when it comes to coaching like who's your prime like who do you want to coach like who's your athlete that's like man those are my people mm -hmm. um well i love coaching all athletes okay she's she's sucked up enough that was pretty good nice. <laughs> that's it brown knows way to that's do that it. entry into it good. yes love it but i'll uh, just to give you a little bit of background of the job that i had sorry you know, i want to do that so sponsored bad but i just the, heated this sponsored four by the minutes. yes okay mine's anyway. really hot um, where was I? Who's your, like, sweet spot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> That's why I need tea. Yeah. <laughs> Give me just a few minutes and let it caffeine get my system. Um, so about when I moved to Savannah, what the particular job that got me here, I was working, um, it was called Abilities Unlimited, and I worked with, it was the, basically an extensive exercise program where we were a feeder program from physical therapy, and we worked with clients with special needs disabilities just basically cup an exercise program for them and um it varied the different abilities there and so to me i think that is where my heart lies when just anything of any type any type of movement helping people be able to do things that they want to do outside of the gym that is probably a big passion for me of getting people moving be able to you know one of my clients he we wanted to get him standing again. So we worked on just build a stand and that even translate, even how that translate into the CrossFit Ram um, functional fitness type stuff is people that want to be able to move better outside of the gym and the longevity of their lives. I think that's just getting people moving again. Yeah. And um, so do you have an adaptive certification? Yes. Yeah, so you are CrossFit adapted mm -hmm. certified. certified. So what is yep. what types of stuff like um what what I know like you can let's say say like somebody has no mm -hmm. arms or no legs, something like right. that. That 
that does not a challenge for you. Like it's a it's a obstacle, but it's mm-hmm. not like oh my gosh, you can't do anything. Right. Like, you have the skills to kind of figure to out. To be able to figure out ways to get right. them to adapt to what they need to be able to do in order to to work out. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's fantastic. I think mm-hmm. it's one of those things that like we definitely need more people like that that are willing to kind of go mm-hmm. and work with special needs populations. So that's that's fantastic. And I think too what what I love about it, even in, in the gym here is just people that was like, I can't do that movement or it may not even be on their radar or it may be something that you really will never be able to do that. Your body will not allow it to be able to find ways to be able to help you, um, be able to get close to it or do something to tailor it to what you can do. That would be a challenge still, but to work in a way that, Hey, let's, let's set a goal. Let's try to get there and, and kind of change the movement around to how it works for you and your body. Okay, so speaking of goals, what is the last goal that you set for yourself that you actually reached? Ooh. Um, I know well, one for you, but go ahead. I know. Let me let me think. I know it put me on the spot here. I mm-hmm. asked Drew to give me some questions beforehand so I could think about it. He was like, no, no on the spot. So so what is, what I what yeah, I think what you, I think for you is. Um, Lindsay is also in Air National Guard. Yes, yes. Uh, so one of the goals that she and I talked about when mm-hmm. we first met was she was going to go to basic mm-hmm. and then she was going to go to some advanced school mm-hmm. after basic and she did that. So she mm-hmm. had no problem doing the physical part of basic training. And that was the goal that mm-hmm. we talked about before you left, mm-hmm. that you wanted to be fit enough because mm-hmm. you were older going into mm-hmm. basic training that mm-hmm. you didn't want to finish last. Like you wanted to be mm-hmm. in the top of the class as mm-hmm. far as fitness goes so Mm -hmm. how did that go yes so as far as in my flight yes i was they actually made me the pt monitor Hmm. Hmm. interesting that's right yeah so that's that's awesome so yeah so it became yeah so they i guess that my mti spotted me from the beginning and was like we are going to give you a leadership role and it will be you'll be in charge of the girls to to even over the pt stuff so that was that was a goal for sure for the layperson what does mti mean Oh, so your um, oh my gosh, just brain fart. That's your um, that was our instructor. Instructor, yeah. the I can't. What is this in for? Something training instructor. I'm yeah, guessing. it's a training instructor. Military train is it? Military okay, training okay. Woo. Not a wealth of knowledge anymore. I'm like, Damn, Air okay. National Guard call. They're actually going to give you more basic training. Yes, I know. <laughs> it. I need it. <laughs> Good. Okay, so See, uh, that's now. Oh, she's looking it up age. on Google for real. Okay. Oh, okay. What does MTI stand for? Wow. This is terrible. It's, no, not a medical term. Oh my gosh, we're really looking it up on Google. Military, you were She right. was right. She was right. Well, you help me. Military, Military training, training instructor. instructor okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so many abbreviations. Uh, let's talk about you as an athlete. Okay. So you, what is your, <laughs> right. What is your <laughs> um, favorite movement in the hmm. gym? What do you like doing? My favorite movement would be, I love the power cleans. I love, or squat cleans. Yeah. Mm, squat cleans and snatches. And it's funny because that used to be my least favorite movement. I hated that. That was like the last movement that if you ever said, okay, guys, you're going to work on one of your movements today, I would not choose that. Some of us call that whole thing Olympic lifting. So the Olympic she's, lifting, yeah. She's yes. like, I like snatches uh, like and, cleans. and cleans. And, okay. Right. <laughs> that is. Okay. Yeah, but, yes. So you catch Lindsay in the gym. She's always doing power cleans. I do love, right enjoy working on them. But it's funny because I, I feel like I go through different stages too because there are times where I'm like, ooh, I just love the toe, working on toes so far. So, but currently the movement that I'm enjoying, in right. yes, is the cleans and the snatches. Now ask me in another year and it, it might be something Well, else. here's the other part. What movement is your least favorite right now? Oh, do stupid muscle-ups because <laughs> I had the muscle-ups down before basic training and I came back and I could not do one. And that is my least favorite right now. And I've yet to try it. I keep working on it. So that's. So the next question is, yes. what are you working on right now to get better at? Other than cleans and snatches, because that's something you, you practice a whole lot. But you said you're not practicing muscle ups right now. What are you yes. currently practicing? What's the movement that I'm working on mm-hmm. other than the cleans? Yeah, the yeah, because that's kind of a given. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm kind of working on them all. I mean, I would say. Working on them all. 
Yes. The shotgun I'm, approach. I'm working on them all. Like kind of when they come up in the workout, you're just going to focus I'll on work, that day yes, type thing. Yes. No, like, I haven't like spent a couple minutes here and there right. and working she's on She's lying. She's doing strict pull-ups every single day. Oh, yeah. I'm doing with, that. Yeah, oh, my gosh. So this is basically, I'm interviewing for her. That's right. I'm just letting <laughs> him do my questions. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So she's she's my really, glasses back on. I'll look smarter. really working on strict pull-ups, which is awesome to see. Um, and they kind of paid off today. And the, the burpee pull-ups. Yes. Um, okay, what's your favorite CrossFit benchmark girl workout? Mm. Well, you know what I'm thinking because last week. Yeah, but it's I it. am still. So we did. He Drew's broad idea was to do Franish. Yeah, guilty as charged. Yes, and I'm still hurting, but. Yeah. That was that was fun for me to go back and do that. Yeah, Fran is thrusters and pull-ups. The thrusters so and pull-ups, yeah. So because I haven't done that in so long, and it was fun to see where I was compared to what I mean. But it was a little bit different because we did 27 reps to start off with, or was it 29? 27, 20, 27, 21, 15, 15, 9. So, but that felt good. So yeah, that's that would be okay. Rapid fire questions. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie, Finding Nemo. Nice. What's your favorite book? Um, Suffering is Never for Nothing. What is your favorite restaurant in Savannah? Fire Street Food. Go eat there. What do you get there? A chicken skewer salad. It's amazing. Okay. What is your favorite guilty pleasure uh, show or movie you watch on TV? Oh, gosh. I don't watch. Like, what's your, like, smut TV that you watch? I don't ever watch TV. Like reality TV and like that? Nothing? Well, okay. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so when I was in Arizona. Everybody's got one. Everybody's got, got one. one. Yeah. Because I don't ever sit down at my house and watch TV. But when I was in Arizona, um, I had TV. And I had a lot of free time. And The Bachelorette. Oh wow! Okay, was, so full on smut. Love it. Oh my gosh! I Love was, it. but I was like, I started off. Let me tell you, I, I watched the first show, and it was. I was like, this is stupid. Who? I mean, these guys sitting around fighting over one girl. There's a million girls out there, and and then the next, then I was like, oh, I wonder who um, she's gonna million. choose. Yes, there's four point five. <laughs> there you go. See, he went to he went to Georgia Southern. Yeah, he graduated so. with journal studies, yeah. but um. And then the next one, I was like, ooh, I wonder who she's going to choose. And so I had to watch it. And then I didn't make any plans for the rest of the season that at that hour so I can watch the show. Okay, we're going to test your general studies knowledge right oh, now. Oh, gosh. Hold In, on. No, no, no. no <laughs> In Albert Einstein's famous formula, E equals MC squared. What is C? 4.2. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good guess? Yeah, we'll take it. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. See? Okay. General so now, now the questions get a little harder. All right. What What's is your, the answer? The the penal act. It's oh. Penal act. Well, you Ooh. know. General studies. Paying off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's been thirty have, something you, years. You have to answer the first thing that comes to your head. You cannot skip it. Okay. What is your favorite Marvel superhero? Just gotta name something. Bruce. Okay, Bruce. Awesome. What is your favorite DC superhero? Um, Xena. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> okay, last one. And my personal favorite question. Who is your favorite Star Wars character? E.T. Yes, 100%. 100%. You know what? It's funny because... The Species of E.T. is actually in Star Wars. I knew it. You know, that oh is General wow. Studies degree right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, General Studies degree. Guys, this is Lindsay Cowart. She'll be at the gym. Make sure you come take a class with her. She is an amazing woman. I come get to know her. But anyway, that is your 14 minutes of fame right there, girl. That's right. All right, you guys have a good day. We'll see you later. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>